Okay. Hi. Um, thank you all for coming. I'm Corey Reichenberg. Um, I'm a future landscape architecture student. Um, so this project is the historic Steamboat Trail, a scenic driving and river experiences. Um, this project intends to utilize the history of steamboats in the region as an anchor for compelling and unique driving and boat experiences. Um, beginning in Palatka, driving and boat tours will increase tourism and economic development to put the city at the forefront. With partial restoration comes the reestablishment of boat connectivity in the region, along with environmental benefits and improved fishing. Coupled with the highlighting of historical landings and other cultural, recreational, environmentally significant sites, these driving and boat experiences stand to revitalize the entire region and gain international acclaim. So three, sorry. Okay, so the password. So the three goals um, for this project would be to plan a compelling and scenic driving tour to a region rich with historical, ecological, and cultural value, reinvigorate water transit in the area by also using historical, environmental, and cultural experiences, and enhance and create resources within the corridor for environmental, social, and economic value. So essentially, you know, connecting all the places through both of these tours. So first thing I did was I did an analysis to ensure that the route was, you know, scenic and efficient. So the first suitability analysis on the left is showing the land cover and I ranked that on scenic value. And it's just showing the roads and like the sites around the river and just the types of land cover in terms of aesthetics around you. So kind of so pretty much most of it's like medium to high value. So it'll be a pretty nice drive. And then the other um, suitability analysis I did was I looked at the amount of lanes and average daily traffic to figure out suitability of roads to make sure they were efficient, but also still scenic with like less lanes. And most of them, since it's such a natural area, ended up being very suitable. That's in the green. And the less suitable roads were in the yellow, but like all of the, the roads near the area of study and the rivers are pretty much very suitable. Um, so this will be um, a series of different tour types. So with the resort ecosystems by restoration, it will be um, attracted by new historical, environmental, and recreational opportunities. Some are still actually existing in the area. And this is essentially the overall map showing the different key locations in the area in just the general road context and like where you would be driving and just where all the sites would be. There's like some cities here and there to kind of show somewhat of a context. And so I divided the tour since it's such a like large area into four distinct sections. So the first was like Palatka to Kirkpatrick, and then it was Kirkpatrick Recreation Center, like the future one in the Gateway Park, to Payne's Landing, and then Payne's Landing to Eureka, and then finally Eureka to Silver Spring. And it's kind of, you could pick different tours and experiences, or depending on how long you want to spend, you can just pick and choose where you want to go, depending on what you want to do. So the first type of experiences are historical tours and such like that um take a boat ride to the past with this historical steamboat trail on the aquaha river um there are markers and other group of signage along the river indicating historical steamboat landings and other sites of interest um the first where you're going to start is palatka which is the like end of what the original steamboat trail um and you could there you can learn about the history of the riverfront and in general about the historic steamboat trail then there's a lot of i guess so back in the day bartram explored the site and there's that historical aspect 
And then there's also the dam and a lot of the political history behind it. Um, and, and then one of the experiences that I'm proposing is, you know, maybe there's like impersonators of Marjorie Carr or William Bartram. Marjorie Carr helped stop the creation of the Florida Barge Canal. And there was a lot of political stuff behind that. Um, Orange Springs is another site. And what I'm proposing there, it's where the first medical resort in the region opened and tourism was booming there back in the day. It was very much a big part of the steamboat era. Um, so I plan on putting a replica of a steamboat on that site with interpretive signage explaining, I guess, the ins and outs of, for example, the Hiawatha, which is a famous steamboat. And also just a general history, general history of how like industry exploded under Hubbard Hart. He especially profited off the uh, confeder the Confederacy kind of bringing goods back and forth. So not a great guy, but he also ended up starting the lumber business and citrus and different things within the area and the main like ships that would bring people up and down the Akawaha River. And then that's what will be there. And in Peen's Landing. I don't know if it's a well-known site, but I never heard of it. It's where the Treaty of Payne's Landing was signed, and Native Americans were coerced to, you know, sign their land away. And there's no signage right there or anything right now. So what I'm proposing there is some sort of memorial where, you know, you can start the dialogue, like hopefully Seminoles and, you know, tourists go there and they can like actually talk and like, you know, mourn the loss and really, I guess, bring true healing because I feel like a lot of us don't understand or don't like remember or like think about the struggles that they have now or that they went through and another um site significant to the Seminole tribe was Fort King it's where they kept Osceola and McKinope prisoner um so and there was the battles that happened there and and then um so I'm proposing like reenactment of the battle that happened that kind of started the Second Seminole War. That would be another experience. And then another site is this abandoned dam in Spillway in Eureka. And there's also the Crusher Crawler Path where, you know, you can see like how locks and stuff work and see like learn about the history of the Barge Canal, stuff like that. So it becomes a tourist attraction. And on the bottom, I put a map that, um, Gail gave me, old Gail provided us, and it kind of was an idea for a plan to like make it like this recreation area where you can go on trails and different things like that, like around the lock structure and dam. And then the Silver River Museum in Silver Spring State Park, um, it's supposed to be a great museum. I'm proposing, you know, kind of like a pioneer village thing where you do things pioneers would do, like candle making turn butter a weave and then also there's they found like historic prehistoric bones and stuff in the area so i was proposing some sort of fake digging site for kids you know make the families come stuff like that and just a lot of history with they had like a separate recreation area segregated recreation area in the past and um a resort and it was just a bunch of different historical things within silver spring in the Ocala area in the museum. So I think it would be a good historical reference. And then with such rich, sorry, we'll go back. So with such rich, diverse history is the potential for the tour to bring not only historical education, but also environmental awareness and appreciation and cultural understanding of people like who are even so oppressed today. So I think it's important to like understanding the people in the area and, you know, um, sorry. Next tour is the um, environmental experiences. And this, um, I'm sorry. And this, Um, with partial restoration. Um, for years to come, visitors can witness firsthand the destruction and resurrection of the beautiful ecosystems 
um, that comprise the Silver Afawaha and St. John's. Um, famous writer Sydney Lanier um, declared it the sweetest water lane in the world, a lane which runs for more than 150 miles of pure delight. So one of the things with restoration is restored ecology. So all of these springs, like we just said before, would you know come back and look like they do during drawdown, like all the time. And there's the known as the sequoias of the south. The giant cypresses will, you know, attract a lot of people and hop out of your car and take a picture. It's just it's like a chance to like take pictures of the family because apparently you fit in the trees. And restoration will just allow you to see these trees that much better. And then also, like I said, the springs will be restored, like Cannon Springs or and all the other hidden springs, and that'll give people a chance to, you know, just enjoy the water, learn about the ecology of springs, and just swim in and enjoy. And then another aspect of another environmental experience would be observing wildlife. So one of the things that I'm proposing is, you know, designated manatee feedings and like the other group said, more will come back. So you'll be able to see them on these tours if you seek it out. And if you want to, you can do bird guided bird watching tours or just do it on your own. And then if birds are not your thing, you can, you know, see gators, different fish, and just other different wildlife. And then Last thing is um, a lot of scenic views, so that whether that be like hiking or paddling or whatever you're doing, um, there's plenty of places to, you know, view the river and just admire the beauty that's there, especially when it's a storage ecosystem. So, and then, and then also if you want. Yeah, that's and then for recreation. Um Burry has a rich array of recreation. The historic steamboat trail is great for families and people of all ages. Um beyond the projects presented, there are many other dock and bank fishing opportunities. Um these sites are typically great for uh, picnicking, swimming, and just soft for paddlers. Um some key sites would be Ray's Wayside Park, Gorge Landing, Eureka West, and Cannon and Blue Springs. And these icons just show different things like Ray's Wayside will have a boat ramp, picnicking, dock fishing, play space and swimming. And Springs would have like swimming and manatees and other places just have like either picnicking or different types of fishing. And so my idea also for the area, I know we said it's a different presentation was a splash pad called Steamboat Landing, and it would be like steamboat themed of some sort where kids can play and would kind of just make families come and make an important part of the site. And, um, and the important thing to note about all of this, um, since many of these sites and facilities are already existing, um, the counties make revenue like that much quicker. Um, also, they provide facilities and amenities for those who are like doing driving tours for environmental or historic um, experiences. So it's just good to think about the recreation opportunities and the different amenities they provide for people who are like on their way driving. Um, and then in closing, the historic steamboat trail brings attention to the natural and cultural resources of the rich river system and region. Uh, as it expands through counties, it will ultimately bring economic benefit to multiple entities and enjoyment to families and people of all ages. More importantly, the project stands to bring people of all walks of life together to enjoy nature, history, and recreation experiences. Considering all the costs of partial restoration and the economic, cultural, and environmental benefits that come with it, removing the Rodman Dam will ultimately benefit everyone. In the future, the project has even greater potential to enhance itself and benefit even more of Florida by extending itself to the Green Swamp in the south and the Atlantic to the north. This trail is a sustainable, equitable, and attainable regional recreational project. Um, and then I just wanted to thank everyone for coming and listening. Um, thanks 
a big thank you to Tom, Margaret, Dave, and Dan, and my classmates. Um, I hope you enjoyed the presentation.